Danganronpa. Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Coco is here with Kyudane and we are continuing Danganronpa 2. That's right. Yeah, the true case of Nakito's death was poisoning! The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagato died from poison. But, uh, so what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already! Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. Alright! All the mysteries should be solved now! We should get on with the voting time, right? Well... But... What? Are there still more? Uh, I mean... Not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nakato's motive is still unclear. Did he commit suicide just so he could kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Is that really okay? Hey, hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Nakito's motive. Nakito's malice. Is this really okay? Can we really finish this here? No. That can't be. There... might have been... an accomplice. Huh? Nanami-san? Chioki? What did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Anything that looks like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. Is 
if Nagito really brought poison to the warehouse, then the thing that would have been left behind is the meat on the bone. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? That. I just heard like Yeah, if Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? <laughs> he can't carry around poison without putting it in a container. Hey, I'll you just carry it in my hands, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was written on the warning label. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. The container probably melted in the fire. It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it'd be completely incinerated. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Then, does that mean someone got rid of the container? So that's why you mentioned an accomplice. This is impossible. Oh, you mean an accomplice? It's just too. L like, does that really matter all that much? I mean, even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagato still committed suicide. You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Oh, you're right. You're totally right. That's totally it. Every single one of these people are suspicious right now. <laughs> right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. Ah. <sighs> I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone's tired. Tired of doubting everyone else. I... I also feel that way. That's why I just... I want to just rule this as Nakito's suicide. If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt. But... That's... That's no good. Huh? Huh? I feel like... Nagato is seeing through us. 
誰も犠牲にしたくないって理由で一番楽な狛江田の自殺ってだけで終わらせる By calling this Nagato suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagato was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, so that's the extent of your hopes. Wow, that was a really good impression, Hinata. Oh, thanks. I, I you know, I, I've been practicing. So, Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, eh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Still, that's pretty messed up. Shut up! You just be quiet! I, uh, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Even if I really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Fujuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. You saw how that worked for Persona 4? <laughs> It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like, maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. Huh? What, what, what is this feeling just now? Even though it was brief, it was like a strong flash of light running through the back of my head. Maybe what Akane said just now might be a new clue. From there, I might be able to reach the answer. The way Nagito brought the poison, which means the thing he used as a container was... I see where you're going. Yeah, I oh, see God. where this is going. Oh no. I hate this game. <laughs> well, <sighs> but the letters match up, so. Okay, quickly. Oh. So you just have to do it in order, or...? 
Yeah, but then you always have these things that are like constantly crashing into each other and it's just a mess. Uh. Sometimes it can be very confusing oh. if you don't actually know what the word is and it's just... <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, e. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah, there we go. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Give me a G! And then you're waiting for the one! Oh, oh there it is. Oh, yeah, I can, I can totally t tell why you don't like this game. Like, there are a bunch of other ones where it's frustrating just because, you know, the whole uh, external drive thing being a bother. But the games themselves aren't bad. This one's bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you got this. We got the we got the end we just fire Gren uh Grenge Gren Gren Grenulon Grenk Gren Grendo Grena Gren Grenan Grenando Grin, uh, grin. G -g 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 that's a Danish city. <laughs> oh, Grenat, Grenat, Grenadine. Grenadine. Yes, we're gonna make some drink. <laughs> Ugh, look how much health that took. <laughs> I see. I got it by playing an awful mini game. <laughs> huh? The fire grenades. Nagato put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. What? He used one of the fire grenade canisters. Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse. It can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used. So there's no need to dispose of the container later. That bastard! He totally knew we were going to throw those fire grenades! Which means, did Nagato exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yes, that has to be it! When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? That is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminium? Hajime, could it be that you're European? <laughs> <laughs> Is 
If so, then there's no mistake. Nagato definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible! Miss Sonia just said so right now! But... Sonia's words are proof. The poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? Take a look. It was in a book. We found this under Nakito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That, that's just a piece of trash! No, that, that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matches this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. We also found the gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Did, did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? It's a dangerous poison after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. S so, what's the issue? Nagato put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? So, in the end, he still fucking committed suicide! Enough already! You're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See, I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nakato committed suicide. End of story. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> hmm. Is this like leading? Is this like leading to us being the all of us being the killers or something? I think it is. I admit there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. So, so this you mean? You, you, you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Uh, 
If this is not settled, there's no denying that Nakito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. Ch Chiaki? I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used a grenade canister to store the poison. So, when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? It probably happened at the same time. The moment the fire grenades were brought and the moment Nakito breathed in the poison were the same? Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. We all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse. The poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. <laughs> if that's true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us! What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? Hold on a sec. Nagito was... This is... I mean, like, I think this whole setup is really interesting, but this still 100% counts as a suicide. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Since he manipulated everything mm -hmm. to ensure his own death. It would mean he didn't kill himself. What the heck? Unless, unless, you know, there were all these different fire grenades, unless someone knew exactly which fire grenade to pick up that had the poison in it to throw, like, after they were done torturing him. Hmm. Well, you weren't here when they were explaining that whole setup. Uh, about, like, because he, he pretty much tortured himself. Like, that whole setup of him with the knives and the wounds and all was all stuff he did to himself. Oh. At least as far as what we figured out. Like, maybe there's going to be like, oh, he did, it wasn't him after all. Hmm. Yeah. What the heck? But you said so yourself! You said Nagato committed suicide! Then, who killed Nagito? You mean, 
who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poisoned fire grenade that killed Nagito? Huh? It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. And with that, we will end this episode right here. Wait, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you guys are just gonna have to wait till the next episode. Sorry. Bye! Ah, bye! much for being number one. You just got mowed over by a child. She just did, buddy. You gonna be okay there? And I just shot a child. <laughs>